everyone please ignore the state of me um my hair is due a wash but we're off to a berry farm tomorrow so doesn't matter right i want my hair freshly washed for a show so i've let it run out maybe a day later than i should have but who cares i'm literally at home so no, she got the good vibes when seasons change but when the same even if i lost all my money the zero runs deep on it and i don't need to speak a single word because you got me honing honing even if my jokes aren't funny my tongue tied up on it and i don't need to speak a single word because you got me honing honing anyway as i just said we're off to Burry farm tomorrow for the weekend with brian um, and my friend lily with her horse charlie you may recognize lily from some of my vlogs um she came to a couple of shows with me last year hicks did the june one um she came to and also she came to trepso international with us so you may have seen her there um but this time she's bringing her own horse because i'm only taking brian and obviously we have two spaces on the lorry so i thought why not um anyway we've just been packing it's currently thursday we are leaving tomorrow which is friday and there is storm eunice coming our way Ooh. honestly what is our luck like i swear whenever we go to Bury farm there is a storm always around this time we've literally been in the january and february for the last like three four years i mean obviously we didn't go last year because of covid um but before then we went for the last like three years and every single time it's always a storm always ridiculously high winds or it rains or it's freezing cold i suppose that's the time of year that it is but honestly it just gets the mood down there is literally going to be like up to 100 mile an hour winds um luckily in our area i think it's going up to like 75 75 is ridiculous as it is um so it's definitely be fun tomorrow trying to finish getting everything ready we are planning to leave around half five in the evening um because the winds are supposed to die down around 6 p.m because they're literally starting from 7 a.m until 6 p.m uh, honestly what is our luck so hopefully by the time we leave it is going to have started to die down as obviously we're not driving in 70 mile an hour winds my mum doesn't even like to drive in 40 mile an hour winds um it's just too dangerous so fingers crossed it stops so we can get going and um, we could have left today but lily has work tomorrow and also my mum's dog sitting for a friend so we can't actually leave today but fingers crossed we get there in one piece um and yeah i mean we're not the only people in this boat so you know it just is it is what it is and hopefully we can just get there and get settled after the winds happen anyway just gonna show up now just gonna show you what we've packed um i will be doing like a youtube video at some point where like i show you how i pack everything as a separate video to the actual show but i thought this time it's been quite manic trying to get everything washed and packed today so we don't have to do it tomorrow um but anyway let's get started but this is just a live-in obviously we have a massage massage rug we have a massage bed which we're taking for someone as they're buying it so ignore that um i think this is the massage table bed yeah that's all to do with the massage bed uh my hat my saddle pads are here because I haven't got room in the living. Um, the living. Horse bit. Anyway, let's go out. I'm just going to shut the door behind me. This is a horsey bit. I'm just going to put my whip in. Um, so we've got Brian's boots here. We have his two pairs of tendon boots because I always get my up. I always want to wear both pairs. Um, here's bat boots. I've got a couple of pairs of bat boots because Lily's going to use a pair. Here's magnetic hock boots. Here's fly valves in a bag. Underneath we've got some ice gel. Um, and then this is all like our first aid stuff and extra bits. So obviously we have a hole punch. You can never go wrong with a hole punch. Some muscle slosh in case they get sweaty. Talcum powder as Lily's got a white horse. Some baby oil. Um, I've got some sponges. And then we've got some like, you know, creams and potions and lotions. Heavy scrub, some lickets. Um, silver spray, got some tack cleaner, got the little mini Tours Equestrian tack balm in almond milk, and I also have the Christmas cookie one. Perfect travel size, like look how easy these are to pack. Some sponges so I can clean my tack. Also, I've got the Tours hot oil in almond milk, 
again um eco-friendly all natural honestly this stuff smells absolutely incredible i'm gonna take that in case i need a little hot oil in between just keeps them shiny and looking amazing i'll leave my like, code at the bottom of the screen um i've got a little bag so you can take boots over from the lorry over there just a spare bucket in case you need to give them water on the way there as well I'm just close this up it's starting to get windy now then the back of the lorry put the shavings down for the horses so we don't have to do it tomorrow um i've got my Tours Equestrian rug and my Equicro Kentucky rug up there. Um, show rugs, I've got some hay nets. We're only going for two nights, we're just going to make some hay nets up, which are here. Got my little tack trunk. Well, it's not a tack trunk, it's literally just a rug box that has got all my bits and pieces to go outside the stable. Um, shavings, the other half of the shavings. Some skips, water bucket, and then I have all my ice boots in here, as well as food and drink and stuff. That's pretty much it so far. Um, I think we're nearly done. I do need to make a list. I'm going to do that tonight. So I make sure I've packed everything tomorrow. Um, I do need to clean my tack, but I'm going to do that tomorrow during the day just so I can be over the yard and keep an eye on the horses whilst it's so windy. Um, and yeah, just finished packing everything up. Uh, my feeds and that also in the tack trunk there. Um, I think I've made up enough feeds. Just need to put my feed buckets in tomorrow. Um, and hopefully... That is everything. Um, I do need to clip Brian tonight, actually, so I'll do a time lapse of that for you guys. I need to lunge all three horses today um, because obviously they won't be able to have anything done with them tomorrow where it's going to be so windy. Um, so, yeah, I need to get all of this done. Um, hopefully, I won't be out here all night. Um, let's pray. I've been clipped, Mr. Brian. Are you ready? This <laughs> is not much of a difference. Pretty surprising, look. All clipped out. He looks so much better when he's clipped. Done all of his legs. Just going to quickly hot oil him with the Tours Question hot oil in here. Just need to squeeze out this sponge. I'm going to take that back a little bit. Very pretty though, Brizzy. Despite the fact that you hate this so much. Very cute. Very him or hot oiled that is literally how quick it takes does not take long at all just going to quickly chuck this on And I will clean out the wash bay once I've had my dinner as my dinner's ready inside. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just gonna put me stable now, this hay net, and then I'll come back out, wash this out and make them their dinners. Wait. Everyone's wondering where Bridie's been. I'm joking, they don't really care. Mary, you're not bothered about your brother. I'm more like boyfriend. Oh, 
them. Oh, he wants a drink. Good morning, guys. So this is the weather we have today. So that is the wind. I'm just going to shut the door to the sack room because it is so windy. You probably won't be able to hear me otherwise. Um, but anyway, we are going to do some sack cleaning today. I've packed most of the lorry now to leave later. Just need to do tack cleaning to pack all the rest of my tack, um, pack all like the tools, so, like fork, broom, uh, wheelbarrow, feed buckets, more hay nets, all like my clothes and stuff. But the main aim for right now is tack cleaning um, because my tack is definitely due a clean and also boot cleaning. I need to boot my I need to boot my clean. I need to clean my boots as well. So that is the goals. Um, I'm just getting all my stuff out now. I need to get a saddle rack actually. I haven't got a saddle rack in here. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a saddle rack and then let's get cleaning. So all of the um, electricity has come off. So I'm gonna have to film in the dark. So if it's dark, you know why, as we have no electricity at the moment. So I'm back outside again. I've just been finishing sorting out packing. Uh, we've got to put the wheelbarrow, the fork, the broom, the hay nets, and the sea buckets in the lorry. Once we can, once we can get the back down, all of his tack is packed. Um, I was gonna wash his legs, but to be fair, I don't know if I'm going to, as it means I have to get everything out, and it's probably gonna fly away. Um, honestly, I think we're pretty much there now. It's just waiting for the wind to die down so we can pack up. We'll finish packing up, ready to leave. Almost ready to get going in the wind. It kind of calmed down and now it's starting to get stronger again. It looks like it's going to pee it down. And see, this today has been stress maximum. Just need to sort out all this mess now. Yeah, I'm good. Rosie! 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 <laughs> Charlie! Charlie boy! Rosie. He's eating his food. He's like, leave him alone. Could you tell me some money? money? He's like, yeah, that's what I spend of yours all the time. <laughs> Baby's having his dinner. Good boy. Look at the light. Huh? Why is it like, look, why is it like that? It's like green, isn't it? Rosie's eating his din dins. The light in here is so bad. Ricky time. I'm in the You've had your finger off, you silly bug bug. It's on the floor. Boys for walkies. Charlie and Bryzy. Bryzy and his egg balloon my fraud. Magnetic rug, I mean. We have mucked out and done the waters, put the hay in. Just taking them for a walk now. Um, morning next night, so we didn't get to do that last night. And then I'll be jumping this afternoon and at least jumping this morning. So, yeah. 
Is it Burmese magnetic rock? Represent. It's freezing here. Um, luckily, we're walking in an indoor pool. Jumping starts. This is that arena. Just walking the course of Lily for the Aboriginal Miss, even though it's actually quite big to do a for Aboriginal Miss, but oh well. Should be fine. He's having his pre ride massage. Doesn't like the neck on. Oh, I just brushed your mane. I just brushed it. Pretty boy. Yes, you are. Bridie's jealous. You're jealous, Bridie. You're jealous. Oh, Tiki. 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 So, Lily's going to be brushing on this. We are just waiting now um, for her to the discovery course. Bridie looks really happy. Um, then she'll jump the discovery and then I'm going to take Bridie for a walk, um, give him his lunch, and then we'll be waiting to jump the newcomers. Cheer up! Cheer up, chicken! So much fun. Taking Bridie for a walk now, um, and then we will go and come back and give him his lunch. Then when we come back, he can have his lunch. Um, and then We'll just wait really to be able to walk course. I'm tenth in in the 110, so need to have a break for the course walk. So I have time to warm him up. Yeah. It's a bit windy, isn't it, Bridie? A bit cold. You're back. Massage rug on before we get him tacked up. I am ready to go. Feeling freezing as it started raining now. This is the call. It's so dark. Ready to go. Not Here's the water tray. <laughs> Absolute super superstar. He still wants to carry on going. Good boy, I'll um, update you guys in a bit. But he was clear, as you've seen, and he was really, really good, and I'm really, really happy with him. Just still has way too much energy. And a massage before he jumps on leads 20. And um, we're currently in the lead in the 110, so I think he's crossed me stay there. Um, really, really pleased with him. Jump really well. A bit rusty riding for me, um, a little bit too forward. But no, he was awesome and I'm really, really happy with him. So we're looking forward to the next class.
<laughs> really fast, but the poles need to stay up. <laughs> of course it is. Bryce has just got his ice booties on. His car chaps, although you can't even see them. You can see them better now. He's got his ice boots on. He's a very good boy in the 120, wasn't you? Just had the last fence down. Um, the distance was a bit long, so I let him run down to it a bit too much. And then it was too late to get him back, so we just flattened the first part of the double. But he jumped on real otherwise. And I'm so happy with him, his first show indoor in two years and he was incredible, honestly. Couldn't be happier, he jumped amazing, he felt amazing, so how can I complain, and honestly. Um, I'm just, obviously said, ice booting him now, I'm gonna bandage him up and get him ready for bed. Um, and then I'll come back over and feed him and hay him and stuff, take him for a walk before it starts raining again. Bryce, what's going on with you? But I don't see him and he's like, I'm not interested. Charlie! Charlie, don't be so rude to your brother. Oh. <laughs> They're not interested. Well, Brian likes. <laughs> Charlie's like, I don't know what to do. finish off later. Fed, skipped out, watered. Sorry, Bryson. Ready for bed. Hi, vlog! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Julian, why aren't you doing this? Well done, Cliff.
Just having this brekkie, just mucked him out into that skip. You can't see me, but um, they can't even see me. Anyway, the weather is due to be really, really bad again today, so I don't really know what we're doing. I don't know if we're travelling home or if we're going to try and stay another night um, because the wind's really going to get up again. Um, we haven't, we've got enough hay for them to stay over again, we haven't got enough feed, so we split um, their feeds in half just in case we do end up staying. Um, because obviously their safety is more important. Uh, luckily, none of us are really in a massive rush to get home. So, fingers crossed, we can figure out a sensible way of going forward with today. Um, I'm just jumping the 115 today. Uh, Lily's jumping the British Noise and Discovery. So, yeah, fingers crossed for another good day of jumping. But, um, yeah, hopefully, we can figure out a way of getting home in one piece, whether that be today or tomorrow. Lily is just warming up now for the British Novice. It started raining and it's already getting windy, which is lovely. Hello. Hello, miserable boy. Just going to get Charlie ready for the discovery. Hopefully he's going to jump well. He was jumping really well in the British Novice, Lily. Didn't you? Munchy? Mm, come on. Rosie wants his lunch. Oh, yummy. Getting ready to jump my last class of the show. Why is you tired? Got his magnetic hot boots on, magnetic rug. Good boy. It's here, covered by a towel, it's raining. Ready to go. Just walking him over to the mark now. Very windy. Very windy. Walking around now. Probably won't be able to update you guys after this class as it's going to be a mad rush. Um, but let's see how this class goes. I'm just waiting to warm him up now. I need to flat warm up, go walk the course, and then I need to jump warming them up. After I've walked the course, as I'm fifth in, um, so yeah.
don't double clear in the ones we've seen. He's still honestly so up for it, oh my god. I literally had to get off him to walk him around because he wouldn't walk. Emptying all the stables out. Ice boots on. We're just emptying out his stables. And we'll be ready to leave. Good time. Home sweet home, hello. Mary's having a freak out. Hey, Brizzy, happy to be home. You happy to be home, Chicky? Oh, yes you are. Mary's on one because she wants her dinner. Don't you? Look at the weather I've got to go out in. No, thank you. I'm okay, I don't want to go out on that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna update you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna to give you guys a roundup tomorrow because this weather is disgusting and I wanna go in and have some dinner, so yeah. <laughs> it's the next morning now. Um, we've just put the horses out. I want my nan to put in Ronnie and Red out now. Um, Brian's out in the field. He's more than happy to be out, especially as it's still really, really windy here. Honestly, we've got another storm. I just, I can't wait for the wind to just be gone. Like, honestly, it's absolutely horrendous. To be fair, he's being so, so well behaved out there. Like. Sometimes he can go out and have a bit of a hoolie around, but he actually just walked straight out. Um, I took his head cut off, didn't run around or anything. He just went straight out and was like, oh, I'm happy to be out. So yeah, really, really happy. Um, I'll just show you them now. Rizy there, looking at his friends. In the wind, Mary's pine, Ryan's in the turnout. Oh, Brian. He's like, I just want to see them hide in here because otherwise when i'm hiding here you guys won't be able to hear me but anyway really 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 happy with how the weekend went um honestly it went over my expectations i was expecting to not have such good results i'll look at ronnie look at them too <laughs> just want to see them. it's past my expectations um considering he hasn't been to a show since 2020 like october i think the last indoor show we did was the um aintree Hoy show which i actually vlogged so go back and have a look at that um yeah honestly couldn't be happy with him really he was an absolute superstar um jumped really really well he tapped a few um but to be fair he's due his jabs um if any of you know about them like your horses can get medicated um just to help with their joints and stuff if they're getting older a lot of horses have it if they have arthritis um but he's 17 this year so he has his medic he gets medicated um so he's actually due them but to be fair usually when he's kind of up to the due point he starts to feel a little bit um doesn't feel as good like he's not jumping as well he has more poles um just where he's not as careful not as like athletic almost um but to be fair considering he's still jumping very very well um but he's due anyway so he'll be having those after Kiso next week um but anyway really really happy with him uh as you've seen we had a second in the 110 on friday beaten by the last person um by like 0 point something of a second it was so so frustrating um and then he had the last jump down in the 120 again really really frustrating um it was just so difficult because it was a that distance was catching everyone out all day. It was a, a long four strides um, from the Oxar to the double. Um, and then the double was a really short two. And jumping it the way that I jumped it, where you had to jump over the Oxar first, it was a big, meaty, like square Oxar. So you had to have the impulsion to get over it, or I had to anyway, because Brian needs the speed to have the power. Whereas some horses and like you can collect them and they still have the power. Like he needs the speed to get the power. So I had to like proper ride him into it. And it was in the jump off anyway, so you're not gonna go slow. Um and then trying to get him back, like have the the distance as the four, but then get him back for the two. It was so difficult. Like he jumped the oxy really nicely and then he just ran down to it and I tried to get him back. Um but he just flattened the first part which is annoying and then he jumped out lovely but that was it she was catching everyone out like everyone was having if they were having poles in the jump off they were having that double down um and even in smaller classes in the british office in the discovery they were jumping it the other way and 
again, everyone was struggling with it. Like, they jumped through the double, and then the four would be too long, and then the horse would chip in, or... Like, it wasn't very nice, to be honest. Um, but, anyway, he jumped really, really well, otherwise, in the 120. He felt amazing. Um, he definitely... I always say this, he jumped better, bigger. He just... If he has something to kind of back himself off, he jumped so much better. Um, and then Sunday, we just jumped the 115 um because we wanted to try and get back early we didn't get back early anyway we still didn't get back until like seven o'clock at night um but we just jumped the 115 and he won it um which i'm really, really happy with he jumped again really really well um so yeah honestly i couldn't be happy with him to be honest he's jumping amazing for me so yeah that is it and i hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog i tried to vlog as much as possible really um although a lot of the clips in the indoor barn were literally pitch black because the lights in there were terrible i'm not going to complain because Bury farm were absolutely amazing for us like we turned up friday and you had obviously the storm like 70 80 mile an hour winds um we went up there at literally late in the evening so we didn't get there until like half eight at night and we had someone waiting there for us she took us to the stable showed us where to park let us drive around and park outside the barn to unload all our stuff which you usually have to unload in the car park and drag all your stuff all the way through um honestly they were amazing they actually stayed with us in the livery barn they were stabling everyone in the livery barn um because they don't have enough actual barn stables for everyone so they literally made sure everyone got to get out of the temps for the storms they were honestly absolutely amazing so i couldn't be like more thankful to them really but it was just really frustrating for my vlog because the lights in there weren't great honestly they were so much better in person but in the video it's like pitch black honestly but hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway enjoyed getting to see the behind the scenes um some of the bareback challenge clips as well um i put in there so yeah really hope you enjoyed that and make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time now she got the good vibes when season